Stronger, faster, higher, this is the evolution of sports. However, what is the line between acceptable and unacceptable performance enhancement in sports? Sports transcends cultures, nations and beliefs. It triggers emotions and has the power to move masses. But what else can sports mean to an individual? Exercise, health, um, competition uh, and feel good. Be yourself and find yourself. The sport means for me and for communities one of the answers to address main issues. For example, getting communities and people and kids and women involved so that communities are more sustainable. Teamwork, sacrifice, um, goals. Sports plays a, a role as bringing people together. That's very important. In a trailblazing intervention at the FIFA headquarters in Zurich, the World Forum for Ethics in Business convened the first World Summit on Ethics in Sports. A multi-stakeholder platform, this first-of-its-kind summit saw global icons from sports, business, politics, NGOs and media coming together to define the role of sports in solving societal problems, to assess current challenges in sports ethics, and to celebrate best practice examples of ethical sportsmanship. Global stakeholders not only discussed governance challenges in sports, but also emphasized the important value sports promotes and the enormous potential sports has to solve social problems. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, dear friends, it's my immense honor and pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of the World Forum for Ethics in Business to the very first World Summit on Ethics in Sports. Sports is incredible, really. Sports stands for personal excellence, for perseverance, discipline, intense resilience, teamwork, leadership, solidarity, health, well-being and most importantly, respect for all. Sports has the power to unite the world in many ways, but are the challenges we face in sports just an expression of the challenges we face in society at large today? What are the roots? We need to dig a little deeper. Today's uh, World Summit on Ethics can provide a platform to forge credible coalitions to make this a reality. As the great basketball player Michael Jordan once said, talent wins games, but teamwork wins championship. We have a new championship to win for the very soul of ethics and integrity in sports and in our society. Together, we can win that championship. Thank you. So what shall we put to maintain what is the essence of our sport which is discipline, respect, and fair play. How can we bring this into our society? So we have to create bodies which will help us to control outside of the uh, stadia our game or the participants in our game. It's not easy. Sports not only unites people of all generation, language, religion, and social standards, it can also work as a peacemaker in the world. The sports organization take an active role in peace building initiatives around the world. And these thousands of youths who are taking guns in search of some heaven would drop them and perhaps that can be replaced by footballs. When youth, youth energy is channelized in sports, I think we can be them away from violence and crime in society. It's just a matter of awareness. Once uh, the dignity, the respect for human dignity is lost, and then we come to the problems uh, which are not just problems of sport, are, I would say, social problems, and uh, corruption and uh, doping, uh, uh, both of them I consider as a social problem. Ethics is a, is a big part of, of sports. Unfortunately, it's more theoretical than actually happening on the pitch. My definition of ethics is um, to have a big dream, to have a big dream and to work with excellence, not just anyway, but with excellence. And for me, excellence is one hundredth of a second. One hundredth of a second could cause uh, obsession, obsession with the result. And there's a good obsession, which is a virtue, which is a value, that's what we all need to have. And there's an obsession that's related to an addiction. When this comes down to the point where the addiction overcomes the virtue, 
then we have problems. Sportsmen are given a mission to educate people, to serve the society. You know, that gives immense satisfaction to oneself. The first World Summit on Ethics in Sports also elaborated on what business and politics can learn from sports and showcased successful case studies and CSR activities in the sports arena. The summit welcomed more than 300 dignitaries from 35 countries. The summit featured a mix of interactive workshop discussions to identify the current challenges on the pitch, such as match fixing and doping, as well as the challenges off the pitch, like transfers, elections and events. The ethics and the integrity are the highest values. This is our own asset. We lose the integrity only once, so we have to really do everything that we do not lose it. And if there's one thing that sport teaches us, is that winning is not all that matters. <laughs> That's the thing we learned when we were kids. It was the thing that attracted us to sport. But yet, we allow coaches and people in authority to tell us that any means is allowable, provided you win. The guy who wins is the good guy, the guy who loses is the bad guy. For us in sport, because we have always with backs to do with and I say then always, it does not matter how often one falls in life, it does not matter how fast one gets up and goes on. Well, the most critical challenge is uh, how to bring the values of sport into life, not just on the pitch, in, in active sport, but as well in governance of the pitch. Uh, and there we still have a long way to go to really have good governance in uh, the sport organizations. The chairman of the investigatory chamber and adjudicatory chamber of the FIFA Independence Ethics Committee also gave an update on the recently completed year-long investigation report on the 2018 and 2022 World Cup allocation and commented on the decision-making process ahead. The FIFA Code of Ethics is a strong one. It was enacted in 2012 and a lot of people had a lot of really good input into it. Beyond any particular case, the public, the stakeholders in, in, in this have to have confidence that the process is working in a fair way. So it brings me to what do we think is still missing here? What we need at this point is greater transparency into the process while continuing to protect the rights of all parties. We see all of the media and name and content von Michael Garcia den Report erhalten habe über die Vergabe der Fußballweltmeisterschaft für die Jahre 2018 und 2022. Ich habe ein Limit, eine Zeitlinie vorgegeben. Ich hoffe, dass wir es schaffen bis Ende Oktober, Anfang November, denn ich verstehe auch, dass es durchaus eilig ist. Ich glaube, dass äh, die Regulierung nur st stattfinden kann interdisziplinär, dass also alle aufeinander achten, dass die Politik die Sportverbände nicht alleine lässt und die Sportverbände die äh, Fans nicht alleine lässt. Man muss immer wieder Signale setzen, dass Sport bei all der Begeisterung auch moralischen Werten unterworfen ist und dass Sport am Ende auch äh, Rechenschaft abgeben muss. In a moving ceremony, over 300 delegates applauded Mrs. Katharina Witt, awarded the prize in the category Outstanding Individual, as well as the Johann Cruyff Foundation, awarded the title of Outstanding Organization. Even though I had the chance to shine as a skater, as an individual, I always knew it's a teamwork, and that's what's so special about sport. Thank you so much. This will be a great inspiration and motivation for me to keep going with this work. Thank you. This is a great motivation for us to continue our work, not only in Holland, not only in Spain, not only in the 16 countries that are active, but hopefully in many more to come. Thank you, organization, for this great honor and for the attention that you're giving to our organization. Thank you very much. The summit also presented a special award for outstanding teamwork, with Peter Mondrup being the first athlete with cerebral palsy to complete an Ironman contest with his twin brother, Steen. When we race, Peter feels free and he actually forgets that he's in a wheelchair. Um, and that's my biggest motivation. By doing the Ironman together, we have proved that building bridges between impossible and possible makes you do almost anything together. On behalf of us, thank you. I 
think being here at the conference and the summit and, and here and the different kind of things, a lot of things are very motivational and very emotional. Some of it just made me very speechless, but I think it's very um, courageous to be so open about corruption in sport. So I just hope that everybody walks away with, with a different kind of spirit and takes little things here and there and influences wherever they are and wherever they are in the right position to help that, uh, that we keep up the love for sport and for the fair game. We all should be part of the world, not only our one-man uh, society. And so we should also a bit think on longer terms and not only is it good to me for today and who cares what is tomorrow. In fact, sports can teach us everything what belongs to uh, living together, working together, having fun together. This event opened a new scenario where we discuss global issues, we discuss institution, and they are not national states. They are a FIFA or maybe the Olympic Games. That's a new world. We have to, we have to keep working on that. I think it could be very appealing for people to understand these global problems in the football or in the Olympic Games, that will teach a lot. I hope we will have the chance to have a series of uh, World Summits on Essex in Sport. We are now uh, in the FIFA headquarter in Zurich. Let's go to different um, places where Essex uh, is an issue, where we can address um, uh, the uh, main demands that you have on Essex in Sport and just improve uh, People and organizations. Ich bin erstmal froh, mit dabei zu sein. Letzten Endes, wenn man, dann trägt man sich ja eigentlich auch in die, in die Geschichtsbücher dann ein, wo ich hoffe, dass es natürlich dann auch nicht der Letzte ist und würde mich natürlich freuen, wenn es dann natürlich auch so fruchtet, dass man eben auch dann nächstes Jahr schon den Nächsten hat und das einfach so fortlaufend so viel Interesse weckt, weil eben die Ergebnisse nach so einem, nach so einem Kongress ja dann einfach auch so vielversprechend sind, dass man eben auch das jedes Jahr ansetzen würde. Das würde mich natürlich persönlich freuen. In recent years, sports organizations have been growing immensely in size and importance. Therefore, it is crucial that the structure, attitude and culture keep pace with current challenges. During the closing session, WFEB's president presented the framework on recommended actions to move towards more integrity in ethics in sports, on and off the pitch. I really want to congratulate all of you. You have been incredible uh, partners in this whole process for us. And uh, suffice to say that this is the beginning. We will be in touch. Uh, in bilateral conversations, uh, we will look at, you know, a lot of distillation has come even from the workshops, and uh, we will process that and, you know, look at how we can set up uh, multiple projects, task forces, how we can take this conversation ahead. And this is really our platform, so we invite you to be a part of it very much. The World Summit on Ethics in Sports concluded with a festive penalty shootout facilitated by former Swiss national goalkeeper Pascal Zuberbühler. <laughs>